Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says x plus the square root of negative x equals 3 16 And it wants us to solve for x. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. I'm thinking let's do u substitution. And you might be asking me substitution? No, u substitution. Let's let u equal this, the square root of negative x. And then let's copy that down and square both sides. On the left-hand side, we'll have u squared. And on the right-hand side, the square root and the square will cancel each other out. So we have u squared is equal to negative x. And then we want to get this x all by itself, so let's multiply both sides by negative 1. On the left-hand side, this becomes negative u squared. And on the right-hand side, negative x times negative 1 is positive x. And the reason we did this is now everything in this equation can be rewritten in terms of u. This x can be rewritten as negative u squared and the square root of negative x can be rewritten as u. So now we have negative u squared plus u equals 3 16 I don't really like fractions, so let's get rid of this denominator. We're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 16. On the left-hand side, the 16 is going to distribute to both of these terms. It'll be negative 16u squared plus 16u. And on the right-hand side, these two 16s are going to cancel each other out leaving us with three. And now we have a quadratic. In order to solve this, we wanna set the whole thing equal to zero. So let's subtract three from both sides. On the left-hand side, the three can go right there. And on the right-hand side, three minus three gives us zero. And when dealing with quadratics, I don't like the leading coefficient to be negative, so let's divide everything by negative one. Now this negative 16u squared will become positive 16u squared. This term will become negative. This term will become positive, And the zero is not gonna change. And now for this one, I think we should do the quadratic formula. It's u equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, whole thing over 2a. Where 16 is the a, negative 16 is the b, and positive 3 is the c. So let's plug in the values. Negative b will be negative negative 16. It's going to be positive 16. b squared will be negative 16 squared. a is going to be positive 16 and c will be positive 3. And on bottom, this a will be positive 16. Inside of this square root, the quantity negative 16 squared is 256. And 4 times 16 times 3 is 192. And then on bottom, 2 times 16 is 32. 256 minus 192 is 64. And I'm realizing we probably could have factored this because square root of 64 is equal to 8. So we have 16 plus or minus 8 over 32. We have a plus minus here, which means there'll be two possible answers for this. We have the plus version or the minus version. 16 plus 8 is equal to 24 and 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. And 24 30 seconds simplifies to 3 fourths. And 8 30 seconds simplifies to 1 fourth. Now we have two possible values for u. u equals 3 fourths or u equals 1 fourth. But we're not trying to solve for u. We're trying to solve for x. So in the place of both these u's, let's plug in square root of negative x. Now we can solve for the corresponding values of x. For each of these equations, let's square both sides. On the left-hand side, the square root and the square will cancel each other out. And the same thing down here. And for this 3 fourths squared, the square can go to both the top and the bottom, giving us 3 squared over 4 squared. And this will become 9 sixteenths. And then on bottom, 1 fourth times 1 fourth will give us 1 sixteenth. And then we can take this negative and knock it over to the other side. And we can do the same thing for this one. Another way to think of this is just multiply both sides by negative 1. So now we have two possible values of x. x equals negative 9 sixteenths or x equals negative 1 sixteenth. Let's test them out. For both of these x's, we're going to plug in negative 9 sixteenths. And down here, for both of these x's, we're going to plug in negative 1 sixteenth. Let's do this one first. Inside of this square root, the negative times the negative will cancel each other out. And the same thing's going to happen down here. And then the square root of this fraction can go to both the top and the bottom. And same thing for this square root. It can go to the top and the bottom. Square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is 4, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 16 is 4. And we're not going to need these parentheses. On the left-hand side, we're trying to add two fractions. Let's give them a common denominator. We can do that by multiplying top and bottom of this fraction by 4. And we can do the same thing down here. 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. 1 times 4 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 9 sixteenths plus 12 sixteenths is 3 sixteenths. So this one checks out. And then negative 1 sixteenth plus 4 sixteenths is also 3 sixteenths. So this one also checks out. So these are the answers to this question. How exciting.